Um, looks like Plup is going to go Fox. And, oh, I'm sorry. Plup is going to go Sheik. Cobalt is going to go Fox. So they're mains at this point. Yep. But we might see a plethora of different characters from Samus's to Mars to Foxes to Sheik's. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to have a good grand finals here for you all tonight. And first game is going to go beyond Dreamland. Now, Plup does have his platforms and he does have a lot of survivability here, but Fox has the movement so he can laser and stuff right here. So yep. I think it's a fairly good neutral for both of them. Yeah, exactly. Not one character benefits more than the other. Yep. So I think it's mostly going to be about... Great smash the eye by Plup right there. It's mostly going to come down to execution on... Right. Uh, see, there we go. And I don't think that he even needed that top platform for that up smash to kill. Yeah, it could have been maybe the sides, probably. Right. Um, but it's just these two go back and forth so much, it's really just down to who's playing better. I'd say Plup takes it the majority of the time, but it's not... I wouldn't say it would be an up, uh, a total upset if uh, Cobalt runs away with it. Right. It wouldn't be a given, like you're automatically going to assume Plup wins. Exactly. I, I understand that for sure. Yep. Oh, nice grab. Let's see what he gets. All right, back air. That's smart because you can't smash the out of back air. Yep. So. Man, Cobalt's doing a really good job of just kind of keeping Plup out. Ooh, I was expecting a check chase, yeah. so the down smash was good. Yep. Trying to get. All right. Ooh, okay. All right, that was cute. Yeah, he scoops him up. And that's, that's gonna a be stock. it. Yep. Let's see how Plup brings it back. Oh, I think he was waiting for a call on a jump there. Really clean ledge dash. Follow up. Not yeah. technically a follow up, but he gets to read into his order. Yeah. Good stuff. And he only ate 59%, not too bad. Yeah. Okay, charge up. Should now. live. Yep. I like that moonwalk into up air. <laughs> Trying to be tricky. Oh, that was so close. Colin landed, uh, wave landed backwards, but Plup was already on him. Right. Ooh, shine back air. Looking like Falco. Alright. Ooh, alright. Really good option. Cobble has clearly been, uh, he's been studying. I like these pauses. So Colin, the last two times that Plup's uh, recovered, he's kind of taken a, a like a breather just to uh -huh. kind of compose himself on the edge there. That's Ooh. smart. He's not like overcommitting to stuff either. Mm -hmm. Oh man, solid two stock by Cobal. Yeah. So maybe he's got a little of the uh, loser's bracket momentum going on. Mm, I can definitely see that. So Plup's got to maybe warm up a bit. Now, can he carry it for two sets though? Exactly. That's that. Uh, We'll find out. Might not have to warm up too much. It's kind of toasty here in the venue. <laughs> and Plup's wearing a hat. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be boiling. All right, so we're going Fox Diddles on Battlefield. Yeah. So Cobalt is the green fox. I think. <laughs> oh, this is a sick angle. Oh, the down air. Ooh, coming back with like a rising nair, that was really risky. Ooh, nothing after the jab reset. Yeah, I think he waited a little bit too long, but he realized it, so he didn't he didn't go for it. Oh my goodness. Alright, I, I think I stand corrected. I think the blue fox is, is cobalt. Cobalt, yeah. Because that was a very cobalt-esque yeah. shine. Yeah, you could see Col Colin's hands moving after that one. You so. know, that's one thing I love about our game, dude. You can watch it and figure out which player is playing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that was so they're so uh, scary for club. Oh, I don't think he really wanted to do that right there. Back air, yep, nice. Simple and clean. Yep. All right, there we go. Shouts at Azzy with the production. So he goes forward. Okay, I like that forward tilt there. Covers the option of going to uh, right to the ledge. Ooh. 
All right, Fluff definitely trying to get himself on the board right now yeah. after Cobalt won that first game. And Fluff has such clean wave wave shines. He's I mean, just for, so technical in general, dude. Yeah, I mean, for Scary. like not being a Fox player though, just like, man. Ooh, I wasn't expecting an air there. Back air? Yep. Waits a little bit. Oh, speaking of technical though, Colin kind of flubs that one. <laughs> Just dash down with both players right now. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, those are suboptimal punishes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so too. That's a back air. Yeah. Yep. We both saw it. Yeah. Sometimes you just it just gives you know Fox just gives it to you. Atta. I think they're both playing a little nervous with all these Uttas. Yeah. Just right. like the back and forth. I mean more 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 so plup. I don't see him spot dodging as much. So to see him doing this, that's a little different. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. And that's going to be it. Dang. Colin is shaking Colin? his head. Yeah, exactly. He was not happy with that one. So we're looking at 1-1 one, one apiece at this point. Is he going to take it back? I mean, that, that game was really close. It was very close. You're definitely right. I mean, that could have been Colin. But if he counterpicks, yeah, there we go. There's the Marth. Okay. Yeah, we're going through all of the characters. Yep. And I think Colin's Marth beats... Pups Fox um, a lot. Whoa! Oh, especially gosh. with pivot tippers like that. He, Double his, up tilt. He has oh, such, no just, guard. such good follow ups. For sure. Nair? Oh, okay, fair. Aww. I mean, Pluff had the good DI. If he did DI that right, then he would have definitely gotten yeah. faster. Oh, going for the dancing sword dance? Maybe? Yeah, sword dance. No, you're right the first time dancing blade. Dude, it's used so so little that it's like a, what even? Oh, Ooh, that's not a good trade. trade. <laughs> yeah. He thought he could stuff it a little bit faster, but Fox is is uh. And this at this point, Mart's at that percent where he really needs to work to get his kill. <laughs> Okay, that's Nair's uh, pretty good at it. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> a giant hitbox and an arc around you. I mean, okay. <laughs> All right. Some good grab follow-ups from Colin. Ooh, gets the shield grab there. <laughs> Interesting, going for the up smash. Yeah, I don't know. That was meant to be an up smash, or ooh. Oh, gets the side B both times with a good fair. <laughs> oh no, Colin! <laughs> oh man. Is that a West Ball splash? Yeah, yeah, I think that's. Oh my oh. gosh. Colin, Colin sh shaking his head. I mean, the kid behind him, Steel, you saw him on commentary. He's also a Marth main. And kind of glad that. I mean, you might have heard, he is all about Colin's Marth. So he's like literally just standing there watching. He's not a, he's not a phony, he's all about it. Ooh. That was not the best DI on post but there was no follow-up. Yeah. Alright. That, that should be it. Yeah. You're not coming back from that down tilt. Yep. Uh oh. Oh Man, Colin. Colin. That was a that seemed like a way un unnecessary risk. Yeah, to say the least. He's gonna attack on a lot of percent, finish off this stock without getting percent of his own. Because this is doable. Fox Marth. Marth. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh not like that. Oh man, Colin was Maybe trying to smash the eye down. Yeah, he scratched the... his head. He was shocked. Yeah. Okay, well, Plup goes up 2-1 here in Grand Finals. Is this going to be an early night, or is Cobalt going to go for something crazy? Cobalt with the patented sleeveless tank. I guess all tanks are sleeveless, but his Technically, are Technically, yes. <laughs> his are extra sleeveless. I mean, some just have cannons attached to them and have wheels. So not all tanks are sleeveless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I've no. been hanging out with my brother too much. No, he, dude, I, the pun master. I'm just kind of... I didn't think of it. Oh. oh, that was beautiful. That was technical, though. He hit the stage. He just wasn't expecting it. Uh-oh. Clubs in for a ride. 
Looking like Marvel's Capcom 2. He's going to take him for a ride. Yep. You just see your controller down. <laughs> Ooh, single hit up air. Probably one of the most beautiful things Fox can do in my league. Single hit up air. Up air. Up air. Oh. That would have been a tipper too if it hit. Oh. Colin getting like real, real tricky with these. With the back air into Nair. Like, who does that? Dude, I think it's been like 30 seconds since the last time Colin got hit. Yeah. Or even since uh, Plup hit the ground. That was quite the stock by Cold Ball. Well, he's going to need it because uh, after the game two where he had those... Oh! Yeah, peace of yeah, mind. He, he's doing some good stuff the, right now. The presence of mind the that least. side B. Steel freaking out in the back, too. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, dude. He's the ultimate Cobalt fanboy. Ooh, shield grab, though. Tech chase. Ooh, gets a spot dodge. Oof. He's feeling himself now with two forward smashes. And he goes through these back airs where I would see other Mars go for a Nair. It's really interesting. Yeah. So I think Colin was trying to go down with the uh, with the down air or like land behind with the, the grab, but plucked his up smash. So right. no, no more of that. I, I need to get back in this game. Wow, that was tricky. <laughs> Almost didn't hit it. Right, because the stage was moving. Yeah. That should be it. That's going to be it. Okay. All right, game five, set one. Are we going to see a set two, Moses? Is this going to happen tonight? Um, I feel like Plup goes, Plup goes chic now. Oh, there, there's a little smiley face tag. Okay, maybe we're going to FD. Oh, Dreamland, Dreamland Fox Dittos. All right. All right, this is where we started. Just simple Fox shenanigans right now. Yeah. Okay. The Nair. Patience from Plup. Uh-oh, this could be it, though. Yep. As soon as you get below that, the uh, stage line there. I mean, Colin could have messed it up, but it was like... Yeah. And he definitely knows how to hit up on the C-Stick. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay. So, a quick one on both sides. Ooh, that up there, though. Oh, uh, Colin's in a sticky wicket. Nope. Oh my gosh! Uh, that was the cleanest wave land onto the stage. Back air? Yeah. Oh, this could be. Ah, oh, he didn't. Had he hit, grabbed the ledge, that would have been instant. Yeah. One of those ramen noodles. I think this is. Oh, what a clutch. This is so tricky. Angle. Man, we were like dead even here. Alright, well. Right, pop pop. Slight lead here. Lots of lasers. Colin needs to, Cobalt needs to seal the stock, and that's how he'll do it. Yeah. Only 4%, still very close. Yep. Ooh, caught him midair with that up air. That's tricky. Oh, misses the grab. And you read the, the uh, DIN too. Mm -hmm. Okay, Colin. Oh, misses the nair. Let's see what Pup does. That was a great angle. Both these players are, are getting really good. Uh, yeah, such great angles. Even though Fox has like all the options in the world to cover his own recovery, I mean, it's just... Uh-oh. Plup, he's got 43 on Cobalt. Now 62, 75. This could be it. Yeah. That's going to be it. So, only one set. Cobalt takes it. Tonight.